Hey guys, welcome to another episode of The Hive. Florence and Joel here. Today we're excited because we will be showing you the second portion of the DVD Hotel, which is a universal casting presentation and collaboration solution. Yes. Remember guys, if you guys have not done so, please subscribe to BZB TV. You guys do not want to miss out on any future episodes in the new year. Nope, nope, don't do that. Uh, like Flo mentioned <laughs> earlier, we this is episode two. Uh, the previous episode, we actually unboxed the unit and provided a general overview of the tile. Yep. But today's episode is the main event. That's right. Today we're going to show you how easy it is to set up the tile it's easy as A, B, C. Oh. oh, simple as one, two, three. Yeah, don't, don't quit your day job. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really easy. We're going to show you guys the nitty and gritty. We're also going to demo the product and show you the capabilities of the tile and how it can support pretty much any wireless product out there. So just stay tuned, grab your popcorn, and let's get right to it. Now that we have the DVDO tile powered on and connected to our display, it's time for the setup. All we have to do is follow the on-screen step-by-step process. Starting with number one, download the DVDO tile app. Now you can download the app at the App Store, Play Store, or by visiting dvdo.com slash tile. Since we're using a Mac for today's setup, we'll go ahead and use the website. So once we're here on dvdo.com slash tile, you wanna scroll down to the app section. Since we're using a desktop and we're using a Mac, we'll go ahead and click and start the download. Step number two is you want to go to your device settings and choose Wi-Fi. So you want to go turn on your Wi-Fi. Then step number three is you want to connect to DVDO tile 6885 and use the password tile 12345. By connecting to DVDO tile 6885, we're actually connecting to its internal access point, which is really cool because it is independent from any other existing networks and will act as a standalone unit. So say you have a PowerPoint presentation and there's no internet access available. No worries, you can still connect the DVDO tile and cast that content. On to step number four, you want to finally open up that DVDO tile app you just downloaded. And since we are on the desktop app, it has a specific IP address and we want to input that. It's displayed on the screen 192.168.43.1. After we input the IP address, now our device is connected. Step number five is we want to set up the admin and participant credentials. The admin credentials, here you will input an email, a password, and a name for the DVDO tile device. As for the participants, here you can assign a password for them to connect. For now, we will skip it, but typically you would want to have a password just so it's more secure and not anybody is connecting to the tile during your presentation. Finally, step six, it'll ask you if you want to connect via Wi-Fi or access point. Currently, we are connected to the tile's access point but if you want to use Wi-Fi, that means you'll be using your own Wi-Fi internet connection. The benefits of that is it'll allow you to connect online so you can pull images or videos, any content on, on the internet that you need for your presentation. Access point, you can only cast what's on your hard drive or your mobile device. So for this purpose, we'll just stick with access point and we can hit skip. Now that the administrator is all hooked up, we need to connect the participants so they can join in on all the fun. Remember, there's up to five participants, including that administrator, and everyone can log in easily because all of the information is on the TV screen. On the bottom, you'll notice the device name, the IP address to input, the access point to connect to, and the password. Now all our devices here are all set up and ready to go and they've been logged in. Here we have all five of our devices set up. 
What's beautiful about the Tile is its universal casting capabilities, meaning you can virtually connect any type of device wirelessly to the Tile. Now it does have five HDMI inputs in the back that you could connect devices without Wi-Fi capabilities like cable boxes or external hard drives. But the most convenient way is to connect via Wi-Fi wirelessly. Now, the five devices here, we have all different types. We have a Mac laptop, we have iOS, tablet, and smartphone. We have an Android smartphone, and lastly, we have our Windows laptop. Now, make sure if you're gonna connect with a mobile device, like a tablet or a smartphone, to have your Bluetooth setting turned on. All right, so let's go ahead and start casting content with each of our devices here. So with the MacBook, uh, let's go here on the app. We are on the home screen and we want to share the desktop. Now on the main screen, the admin can share his entire desktop. On the iPad, let's mirror our screen. So mirroring is just like sharing the desktop, but for mobile devices. So there you go. On the top right of the screen, we have the iPad. All right, with the iOS smartphone, let's select the photo to cast. There you go. All right, with our Android smartphone, let's uh, cast a photo as well. And lastly, on our PC, let us share our desktop as well. All right, here we have all of our devices now casting content. Now let's go ahead and rearrange some of the tiles so they look a little more organized. This will allow you to move the tiles any which way we want. We could resize them. Now with the app, if you guys are using a mobile app, can you guys see right there? The tile control on the desktop is called tile control on the mobile apps. Um, it's a little icon on the bottom of your screen, a little monitor. You could just tap it. Now put your phone in landscape mode. Um, and it's similar, so you just click and drag your image. You can resize it. You can also, you know, place it anywhere on the screen. If you double tap, it gives you the option to do a full screen mode. Look at this handsome guy right there. And uh, also on the very top, it'll give you options to equally size the screens um, on each corner of the screen, which is neat. So you could click that. It'll ask you if you want to reset all the views. So yes, now all five uh, windows are shown up on each corner of the screen. Now, like we mentioned earlier, there is a moderator mode, which allows you to queue up content before it gets approved. Let's go ahead and show you guys how to do that. The admin, again, can only have that feature. So you want to click on moderator mode and start moderator session. Here I'll ask you to enter a session name, password, one, two, three, four, five. Confirm that password and click start session. All right, so now from here, Say on your Windows laptop, you want to, okay, you have to connect again. Log in as participant. Now, when you log in as participant, it will say that moderator session is on. Now you have to type in that password, one, two, three, four, five. Provide a username, say Windows. All right, so once you're in, say you wanna share your desktop. You can, you click it, it'll say request sent. All right, so we come back over here to the administrator's MacBook. Now you'll get a, a message on the screen that says Windows participant wants to cast their desktop to share. Now you can either cancel to, to not show that content or okay to approve it. So here, we hit OK, you hit Approve. Now the Windows laptop is sharing their uh, desktop or whatever content that they so choose.
Now, moderator mode, this is a great feature for you know any teachers, say uh, they're doing a lecture and they have their students all involved in the session. This is a good way to you know approve any content from the students that are uh, you know trying to share content and the teacher can you know easily look it over and approve it before it turns public on the display. This entire time we've been using the tiles internal access point. How about now we go ahead and switch to Wi-Fi mode so we can use our own internet connection. Okay, so let's go over and go to DVDO tile settings and you want to go to access point slash Wi-Fi. From here, you want to connect via Wi-Fi. So select Wi-Fi. You scroll down until you see your internet connection. Ours is BZB 5GZ. So you connect. Type in your password. Now what we're doing right now is we are connecting the tile to our internet connection. So it says the network has changed. So good. Then you want to go over to your wi device's Wi-Fi settings. Scroll down to your internet connection, BZB 5GZ. Once those two are connected to your Wi-Fi, uh, the IP address, like as you see on the screen, will actually change. So now it's 192.168.1.22. Connect from there and boom, now you are connected to your own internet. This allows you to now surf the web and access any content from the internet. Now you can open up any web browser and access uh, images or videos, anything online that you want to share during your presentation. As you can see, the DVDO tile is the perfect solution for all collaboration and presentation applications. So easy to use, very seamless. You can cast from basically any type of device that you have, iOS, Mac, Windows, uh, Android, you name it. I'm sure we didn't get to every single feature of the DVDO tile and its app, but we will continue to learn more about this product if you guys have any questions or want to learn more, leave us a comment down below. We will get back to you with your answers. We've also included the link below, full product detail, links to our previous video on the unboxing and general overview. Now I wanna thank DVDO once again for providing us the tile and letting us explore and learn more about this product. Make sure you guys subscribe to BZB TV so you guys don't miss out on any future episodes. My name is Joel. I had a blast. Thanks for sitting and watching with us through this entire video. See you guys on the next episode of The Hive.